in extreme circumstances, one would have to select one of Robogod's numerous false alarm algorithms. These are located inside the bottom sensor box. To get to it, one would have to remove the locking screw completely and lift the polycarb box right out of the RoboGuard. The two switches in the top left hand corner are the sensitivity switches for the PRR. One on, one off would be the middle position, typically 15 meters. Both on, the least sensitive position, typically 10 meters, and both off, the most sensitive position, 20 meters. Switch one is your transmit manager switch. It should always be in the on position. Switches 2, 3, 4 and 5 are all different types of false alarm algorithms. Switch number 1 is my instant delayed switch. Okay. In the on position like it is now, the rubber guard is an instant. In other words, every time it gets a valid detection, it will transmit. Switch on off is the delayed mode, which is great for high traffic areas as it cuts down the annoyance of unwanted signals. Switch number 2 is double hit mode. Generally used for hardy dars. What this means is effectively is that the top sensor and the bottom sensor have got to detect twice before the rubber guard will send. Switch 2 and 3 on is what we call a V pattern. Great for large birds. It means effectively that the top sensor has got to see, then the bottom, then the top. Or if the bird's taking off, the bottom sensor, the top sensor, and the bottom sensor once more. Switch number three in the on position is what we call hardy door mode. Great for large birds. We need two hits from the one sensor and three hits from the other sensor. Not highly recommended because there is an outside chance you could miss the intruder. Switch number four, basically we call this skinny window. There's a time, dif there's a time constant between the detection from the one sensor to the other. In skinny window, this time constant is halved. In other words, it minimizes the chance of false alarm or false triggering. Great for washing lines in small areas. And finally, we have DSP, digital sampling. This actually tracks the sine wave of a human and mathematically calculates the presence of a human. Great for swimming pools, driveways, etc. However, the range is drastically reduced. And that's that. Sometimes it is better to relocate the entire overgrowth.